The following is an address to the nation by Minister for Social Development, the Honorable Sylvester Qualis, to mark the closing of Sexual Harassment Awareness Week. Ladies and gentlemen, today, October 2nd, 2009, closes a week of activities organized by the Grenada National Organization of Women to bring awareness to this very serious and rapid increasing forms of sexual discrimination in our society, sexual harassment. This form of gender-based abuse has become a growing concern nationally and internationally. The theme drawing the line, sexual harassment is not fine. Though simply stated, does convey a multitude of feelings. In fact, the internationally accepted definition of sexual harassment is any unwanted or unwelcomed conduct of a sexual nature in a workplace or in connection with work as well as at institutions and in relation to accommodation and the provision and receipt of services. This type of antisocial behavior can take many forms and may include deliberate and unsolicited physical contact, repeated sexually oriented comments or gestures about the body, offensive phone calls, letters or email messages, sexually explicit jokes or propositions. Both men and women are victims of sexual harassment. But most often, it is women who suffer because of societal attitudes and sometimes because of their precarious employment positions. These persons, especially in low status jobs, find it difficult to complain or seek support for fear of jeopardizing their jobs. We are all aware of the devastating effects sexual harassment can have on the health confidence and morale of its victims as well as the being subjected to the following. The loss of employment, biased job evaluations, demotions, transfers, dismissals, and loss of promotion prospects. Stressful and hostile working environment that can lead to mental and physical illnesses, anxiety, depression, headaches, digestive disorder, to name a few. My brothers and sisters, sexual harassment must never be condoned in any type of environment, whether it is at the workplace, at the bus terminus, on the school grounds, or on any street in the state of Grenada. Sexual harassment does also have adverse consequences for employers. It can impact on the profitability of the company due to frequent time off or resignation, reduce productivity when the work environment is compromised by lack of respect for the worker's integrity. Fellow employers, I especially appeal to you to take up your responsibility to deal with this form of employee misconduct in as severe a manner as other forms of employees misconduct. You have a responsibility to minimize the health and safety risks to your employees as you would on other hazards. At this juncture, I must congratulate the Grenada National Organization of Women, GINAW, who, with funding from the United Nations Fund for Women, UNIFEM, and the United Nations Trust Fund has sought to expose this serious and often misunderstood form of sexual discrimination. My government looks forward to the enacting of legislation that will seek to protect individuals against sexual harassment. The Ministry of Social Development has collaborated with GINO and is committed to continuing to do so in its quest to eradicate sexual harassment in its many forms. My ministry will continue to work collaboratively 
with other non-governmental organizations and civil society in an endeavor to eliminate the many social ills that our citizens are subjected to and instead promote a country where we can all live in peace and harmony, free from all forms of discrimination and violence. The ministry aims to protect our vulnerable and promote equality and the right to human dignity for all persons and the elimination of all forms of discrimination from our nation. We must all say a resounding no to sexual harassment and send out a zero tolerance message that sexual harassment will not and must not be accepted or tolerated in the state of Grenada. It is an opportune time for every employer to issue strong warnings that sexual harassment will not be tolerated, condoned or allowed by fellow employees, supervisors, clients or other non-employees who conduct business with that company. I call on staff or persons in position of authority at any institution. It should be your duty to keep your inmates, wards, students, residents, or anyone in your care free from sexual harassment. I call on persons providing accommodation or any type of service, legal, medical, security, transportation, education, entertainment, cleaning, laundry, catering, etc., to ensure provision of such services is not dependent on other persons' acceptance of sexual advances or toleration of sexual suggestions or innuendos. May God bless us all as we strive to enhance the lives of all our citizens. I thank you. The proceeding was then addressed to the nation by Minister for Social Development, Honorable Sylvester Qualis, to mark the closing of Sexual Harassment Awareness Week. Mm -hmm.